Hello, I'm uh, Julien Onia. I'm a hospital physician in uh, radiology. Worked for 10 years in uh, Brest University Hospital as a neuroradiologist, neuro uh, interventional and diagnostic. First, I'd like to tell that this MR machine was chosen to be in place for the emergency situations in the University Hospital of Brest. It's very important for us to be able to perform both screening of patients and where there is a pathology to be able to carry out with the most sort assessment possible for the rest of the patient care. For example, here we had the case of a patient with um, walking problems and we depicted ventricular distension in, in the MRI and some liquid sequences focus on the Magendi foramen showed a little membrane that was depicted to be an imperforation of Magendi foramen. And according to what I said, what that for us, it's an advantage to have this machine to get the more advanced research level possible. We performed contrast of phase imaging at different level of the scale, both to have flux in aqueduct of Silvius at the neck level and for the imaging of contrast of flux of also the vessels to perform precise calculation of cerebrospinal liquid volume in an automatic way that we developed uh, within the VERTS protocol research. And that will be a kind of surrogate marker to perform the follow up of the patients. So, in more experience, produces a quite visual, uh, immersive experience that is very important for the patient to be comfortable. They are less likely to move and then uh, less likely to generate uh, artifacts on the MRI images, with, which improve the image quality and uh, which can be very efficient for the workflow. So to picture my thinking, here you have images of a young patient that MRI was uh, normal uh, two years ago and she came up with a uh, very, very uh, slight symptomatology is uh, pinkling in the uh, the hands and, uh, and she was very stressed. So the whole experience within this machine can very help to make the patient comfortable. Here you have volumic to one weighted that was high resolution uh, with up to 0 0.9 millimeters which is a very uh, beautiful uh, sequence. You can, uh, within these seconds, uh, depict very high details of the pathology. And uh, it was also a good thing to implement a dual inversion recuperation uh, sequence to depict these um, areas of hyperintensity within uh, white matters and uh, nucleus. Then we performed as a standard examination perfusion and uh, spectroscopy imaging. And we conclude as the OMA for this patient. And uh, what we can summarize here is the in boy experience that uh, makes the patient quite comfortable. So then we can adapt the high resolution sequences that take a bit more time to achieve. For this example, uh, the TN white in the imaging is it's five minutes. I think uh, the most important time that patient can tolerate uh, in the MRI for one second, because here you have a full exploration of fracranial lesion with perfusion diffusion, so it can uh, go up to 45 minutes uh, of imaging and the patient, he or she, have to be very comfortable in the machine to do these kind of examinations. I think what comes to my mind is uh, really um, the speed of acquisition of uh, this machine. It's the very next step of imaging. It's also a very good machine that can achieve a lot of exploration. And um, in our setup, that's to say uh, uh, emergency imaging, our protocol have been optimized and uh, almost all new neurological exploration can start with a set of sequences of less than five minutes. And then patients presenting on this machine are also in a general condition that uh, 
uh, is more complicated to manage at, let's say, ordinary patient. And this speed of acquisition can also make it possible to limit movement artifacts with minor compromise on the quality of image. As I show in, in this uh, video, you can see a real high resolution uh, volumic exploration of optical nerve. Patients uh, came uh, with a um, blur of the vision, and you can see bilateral atrophy of the optical nerve. And this kind of sequence is like second seconds, let's say eight or nine seconds. This one, the right image. And you can also see the thickening of the nerve and this very uh, good image. So uh, to sum up, I think this kind of speed brought by this uh, new type of imager, it's the very next step of the imaging. It can brought to us a very, very important thing that going through the most of neurological protocols very quickly and to keep the time for precise examinations.